Hey everybody, I've got a joint video for you today. I'm going to combine my Movement Monday, which I didn't film yesterday, uh, with a Technique Tuesday. The movement I'm going to be looking at is the, the one arm kettlebell clean, uh, but everything that I'm talking about today would absolutely apply to a double kettlebell clean as well. Uh, if you don't know what a kettlebell clean is, it's simply a way of moving the bell from the floor up into the rack position, what we call the rack position. So, so what it looks like is this. If we're going to do multiple repetitions, like so. And that in itself is a fantastic movement. But the clean is also a gateway to other movements such as the overhead press, uh, to squatting, a variety of other movements as well. So it's a great exercise to have in your arsenal. Now, there's a lot of finesse that goes into a really nice clean, which lands softly on the arm, doesn't bang your arm up, you don't end up with bruises or imprints of the logo of the kettlebell on the back of your wrist. And I don't have time in this video to go through all of those, but what I am gonna do is reverse engineer the uh, clean today to give you a, an idea about what the arm should be doing in order to tame the arc and by tame the arc I mean that we're not casting the bell away from our body we're containing it so that the bell as closely as possible traces our anatomy up and down through the movement and I've found that reverse engineering it by starting from the top and moving down is the best way to do it before I do that just addressing the idea of uh, what they call them in, in strong first and, and RKC, I'm sure as well, of the idea of quiet elbows when you're doing a clean. So a quiet elbow means that the elbow is not detaching itself from the rib cage. Um, the, 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 the elbow does move, and in fact, as you're coming out of the bottom position, it's gonna slide backwards in order for the arm to tuck in underneath the bell. And likewise, on the way down, it will do the same thing. But at no point are we extending and losing contact with our rib cage. So it's a brief explanation of, of quiet elbows. And when we deconstruct it from the top down, you're gonna see how that's quite useful. So we're gonna get the bell up. And if you're just practicing this, I would just say assist the bell up into the rack position with two hands. So we're sitting here, you can see my forearms quite vertical, okay? I've got my elbow underneath the weight. We're not sitting here, okay? Now, at this point, what we wanna do is get this bell to, to drop, okay? So what you'll see most people do that are inexperienced with a uh, kettlebell clean is that they will cast the bell out and it tends to come back the same way that you send it. So the tip today is to and this is going back to the idea of quiet elbows, is to slide the elbow back until you feel that the bell wants to spill off. And if you watch what happens here when I do that, I slide it back, and here it starts to want to spill, but you can see how close to my body the bell stays. Slides, and then I'm catching it with my hamstrings. As opposed to if I cast it, it tends to come back the same way. So what I would like you to practice is just getting good at sliding the elbow back and then hooking the bell. And there you can see I've, I've come back the other way. But just, I've, as I said, I've found that reverse engineering the movement tends to lend itself to the other direction, mimicking what's happened on the way down. So sliding it back, drops, and you can see what's happened there. Without the bell, I slide back, the bell will fall. And you can see how close my arm is sticking to my midline. I drop into a hinge, drive the floor, elbow comes back, and then I slide in underneath. So that's my tip today. If you're struggling to contain the arc of the bell when you're doing a clean, particularly on the drop, to stop thinking about casting the bell, but rather pulling, sliding the elbow back until it spills off, and then trying to reverse that movement. So a bit of a combined session, introducing you to a kettlebell clean, and then how to clean that clean up a little bit. 
but give it a go and let me know what you think. If you got something out of it, drop a comment and uh, I'll be back work next week with a new tip. Cheers guys.